So now we've got the equal t. This is uh, an equal t because we can fit uh, three bits of equal pipe in the end of it. Now we're going to solder the equal t. Okay, so now we're going to heat up the T piece itself. What I'm doing is I'm going to put even heat around the fitting. So I'm just going to start heating up the center of it and then just gradually move it around uh, the fitting as I go along, uh, making sure that the flame is nicely wrapped around it as well. So one important thing that you also want to make sure that you don't do is uh, remove the flame away from the fitting and then go to put it back on and then remove it and put it back on because what this does is it will carbon up the fitting and the, the solder won't flow around it once you go to touch it so very important try to keep the flame on to the fitting at all times giving it even heat making sure that the flame is wrapped around it and then once uh, you start seeing some small bubbles appear from the side from the mouth of the fitting then you know you can just uh, touch it with the solder and as you can see, I've, I've touched the solder on the other side from me and then just pouring it round onto the top towards me. And then just give it a quick flick underneath. Now, depending on what size pipe you're using, uh, if you're using 15 millimeter pipe it's not going to take as long to cool down whereas if you're using a 22 millimeter pipe or a, something a bit more larger then it's going to take you a little bit longer than a smaller pipe so make sure you don't burn yourself when you do this and uh, just with a damp cloth wipe away uh, the remaining flux so the pipe doesn't corrode and turn green over time 